Hello, my name is Kelly Waymond. We are here in Japan. We are at the Silhouette Japan office and I have some helpers today. We are going to be making these pretty little Sakura cherry blossom branches. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, no it's, it's, it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, will you introduce yourselves? Yeah, hi, I'm Nanako. I work for Silhouette Japan and I'm responsible for sales. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, hi, I'm Miku Nomura. I work for Silhouette Japan in the design division. Hi, my name is Luis Otome. I work in Silhouette Japan uh, for <laughs> Silhouette Japan in development team. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I'm so excited to teach you <laughs> how to make these. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what we have here. So the flowers and nice. the centers are made of this a uh, light pink cardstock mm -hmm. and then we have leaves and sepals uh, I'm losing mm -hmm. my flower terminology uh, okay. so some other parts the leaves and sepals are going to be of the dark with the dark red um, we're going to use also some wire so oh. this is a thin thin 24 gauge wire 24 24 gauge mm -hmm. it means it's thin mm -hmm. uh-huh and to make the bigger branch, we'll use a thicker wire. Mm -hmm. We're going to add these and make a longer branch. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also going to use some crepe paper. Mm -hmm. So this is, um, I believe this is a German made product. This is crepe paper mm -hmm. and I've just cut it into thin strips because oh, we're going to use this mm -hmm. to wrap ah, around and attach the wires mm -hmm. to the stem. So this is stretchy. When you pull it, oh, it stretches. stretches. And it's very thin, but it will hold things together. Mm -hmm. So I made these just by cutting this think, longer piece uh -huh. into strips. Okay, and we're gonna use the Cameo 5. Cameo five. And we'll just use a regular sticky cutting mat. Mm -hmm. And we will probably need some scissors at some point. We'll use the scraper tool mm -hmm. and the spatula tool for shaping the flowers and we will use some glue to hold the pieces together and then just some needle needle nose pliers uh, for some bending the wires and for cutting the mm -hmm. wires so I think that's all the supplies and so we'll just go ahead and I'm gonna start sending some of these pieces to cut. Okay. Save that. So I'm just using a letter size piece of cardstock. This is kind of a medium weight cardstock. Oh, medium. Oh. Mm -hmm. So it's, not pink. We don't want it very thick when we're making flowers. Mm -hmm. So a thin or a medium weight is best for flowers. So we'll load this. And uh, I'm not going to cut the whole sheet because we don't have all that time. So well, I'm just going to cut a few flowers and a few um, stamen. All right, so while that is cutting, we can probably move on because I have some already cut out. So if you guys want to come back over here, I will give you, so these are the flower petals Bravo. that it's mm -hmm. cutting out. Mm -hmm. So we can just do, thank you. Okay, and so what we're going to do is we're going to take, oh, I forgot to show, these are just, a marker you could use any kind of marker mm -hmm. 
This is an alcohol ink marker, kind of a dark pink. Uh, but you could use a water-based marker also. Okay, thank you. So let me just show you really quick. Um, use some, use paper under it. Mm -hmm. And we're going to, can you see the color, the center? Mm -hmm. And then just little, little flicks. Mm. Just a little bit. A little bit? Yeah. Okay. We're not, we're not coloring the whole thing, just mm -hmm. a little bit in the center. I see. Uh, first center? Mm hmm Color the center first. Yeah, good job. A little bit. Oh, it's beautiful. That's perfect. <laughs> okay, and then these are the little stamen pieces. Thank you. Thank you. And so for this one, we're going to color it like this. You color mm -hmm. just along the base yes. and then the tip of each one, both sides. Oh, uh, both okay. sides. Both sides. Okay. And I will unload this while you guys are coloring. Mm -hmm. There. See how nicely those cut? Oh, very nice. Oh, it's tiny, but very tiny, very but, clear, the, yeah. but very, very clean. Yeah. Okay, so now mm -hmm. we're going to take these and wrap them around the wire. Let me see. I've only got one side mm -hmm. on this one, so let me finish coloring the other. Mm -hmm. So we'll each take a glue bottle. <laughs> Actually, let's see. We'll cut the wire first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so a thin wire. Yeah. It does not have to be exact. Um, mm -hmm. Just about anywhere three, four, or five inches. I see. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And we'll just take turns with the needle nose pliers. Just take the very end, mm -hmm. and we're going to curl it around mm -hmm. and kind of squish it tight. This gives um, extra surface area for the glue. Mm. <laughs> it doesn't want to squeeze for me. <laughs> it's difficult. OK, that's good enough. Mm -hmm. So just a little tiny loop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> little tiny, né? Okay. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Kirsten. You can't get it? <laughs> okay. No, that's good. Is it okay? Yeah, that's the right size. And then sometimes it's hard to squeeze it together. Yeah, I was having the same trouble. There we go. I got it just a little bit. Thank you. There. Thank you. So while we're working on that, I'll go ahead and cut a few of these mm -hmm. leaves and sepals, I think. <laughs> But with these, is that one mine? <laughs> okay. So we are going to wrap the, we're going to wrap these around the tip of the wire. So with a little spatula tool, or scrape scra spatula. <laughs> oh, thank you. We're going to uh, give this a little bit of a curl. Ah, I see. You just roll, roll your finger. Mm -hmm. Just kind of push. Oh. Or, oh, okay. or, or, or you can just uh, bend it with your fingers. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> All right, so then we are going to add glue to the loop of the wire. Just add a little bit of glue, both sides. Both sides, both sides. okay. And you will get some glue on your fingers, it's oh. okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 That's why I brought the pin. <laughs> okay, so we are just going to bend that over so it's covering the glue. Mm -hmm. Kind of pinch. And then we'll add just a line of glue along oh, the nice. base. <laughs> and then we'll roll it up so it's staying against the glue. So this is the probably the hardest part of the flower is just yeah. rolling this on there. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but you are trying to keep it at the same level. Same level, okay. The roll. side is quite. Oh, yes. So it curves away. Oh, curves away, okay. Oh, very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> the first one is a little hard. Yeah. But it does not have to be perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh, good job. Yeah. Nice. Because this is second time for Second me. time. Yeah. Oh. It's easier, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> okay, let's start. And if you, if you need um, tweezers, if tweezers help, 
You can try that or the pliers. Okay. You can help to hold it in place. I'm okay. <laughs> Correct? Yes. Oh, thank yes. you. And then to add just a little bit of strength, mm -hmm. we're going to, good job! <laughs> we're going to add a little bit of glue right at the bottom. And this will help it, once it's dry, that will hold it and keep it strong so the tip won't pop off later. So add that little bit of glue and then we'll set it aside to dry. Okay. Okay, I start dry. Good. Okay, so now you can take your flower that you colored and you have the color side up, flip it over and use your spatula tool. We're going to add a little bit of curl into the paper. So roll it with your thumb pressing, wow. pressing. pressing there, but you have paper in okay. between it. So we're just trying to put a little bit of curl oh. into the flower. So this, this edge, just press your thumb against that, but have the paper in between. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And, and there are other ways to do it. You could uh, just press with your finger. You could bend it with your fingers, but I really like the tool because it makes it faster. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to if that's confusing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it should curl a little bit and then we're going to add a little bit of a pinch right at the tip. So you're just going to pinch, pinch, and it does not have to be perfect, and it does not have to be right in the center. Okay. But I just give it a little wiggle and pinch. Um. That just adds a little bit more dimension and texture to the to the flower. Oh, I see. Oh. Yeah. So there's. There's oh. without the pinch, oh. with just rolled, and there is oh. how it looks with the pinch. Yeah. So you can yeah, see it yeah. just a little bit prettier, mm -hmm. a little bit more realistic. Yeah, realistic. Those look good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very realistic. Yeah, great job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. And when you have all of the blossoms together, you won't notice one that looks a little different. Okay. Yes. You're, when you see the whole thing, you don't notice little mistakes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we'll take, these ones are already dry, so we'll use these. That's, thank you. Thank you. Oh, either one. <laughs> thank you. Some of them I've made longer because it'll help mm -hmm. with the stem and some are short. Oh, so anywhere in between mm -hmm. this length is fine. So I you see, see we've got We've got different lengths, and uh -huh. those are all okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll take this, the one that's dry, and we'll slide that wire through uh -huh. the hole. And then we're going to add. <laughs> <he's> okay. <laughs> we're going to add glue again to the base, so it will stick to the flower when we slide it up. So it goes through the hole and we just slide that there and kind of push, oh. push so it gets a good 
um, grip against the glue. Mm -hmm. So, yep, go ahead. Okay. I see. Okay. So the fur. Looks good. Yeah, and when the glue dries, it mm -hmm. will not be white. It will dry clear. Okay. So just push. <laughs> I just wait. Okay. And then we each take one of these. We cut, we cut these out, but oh. I've already got some cut out. Thank you. Thank you. So again, we will use our little spatula tool mm -hmm. to curl that a little bit. So when it's done, the tips curl upwards. Mm -hmm. So you just kind of press and roll against your finger with that, that edge there. Okay. Not too much curling. Yeah, it, a, a little or a lot doesn't, ah. doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it, it can be kind of flat or it can curl quite a bit. You're going to be pressing it up against the wire again. So oh. put the wire through the hole mm -hmm. and add a little bit more glue again. Let's see. And then I like to put these so the the point is between the petals or, or pretty close to that. Okay. That way when you look from the top you mm -hmm. can see a little bit of ah, the dark red. I see. Okay. And it's okay if it's it's okay if it's not right between. Oh, okay. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. And then you can, if you want to, you can f uh, pull those just a little bit apart oh, nice. so they look oh. a little uh, more spread out. Oh, very realistic. But when we added that little curl to it before we wrapped it, mm -hmm. that helped it already look pretty okay. good. So. Oh, I see. So you can spread them out a little or a lot. It doesn't matter. Oh. Yeah, beautiful. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then the next step is just to turn our multiple flowers into a little branch. So you can see how they're each on their own wire and we can combine them. Mm -hmm. So if you want to, you can use some of these flowers that I've already made. Whoa. Thank you. So use, use the one that you just made and then add a few more. Thank you. And so what we will do is we'll take one mm -hmm. and take a second one and you can just bend it mm -hmm. a little bit. So it's about, I don't know, two centimeters I see. of stem there. Okay. And it can be closer, it can be lower, it doesn't matter. Um, just what looks good. 
And then this is where we use our stem wrap. So what we'll do is you just stretch it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Don't pull too tight, too hard or it will tear. So just gently stretch oh, it yeah. until it stops stretching. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to use glue and this stem wrap to wrap that together. So you can add it to your stem, you can add it to your crepe paper. And we're just gonna roll it around. Mm. And once you have that started, you can just add glue onto the wire and roll it down. Let's see. Okay, and I'm going to give you a couple of leaves because you can add leaves as you are wrapping it down. Mm -hmm. So with the leaves, we'll take a scraper tool. Thank you. And you'll just press the leaf right down the center. Just ah. squish. Oh. And it makes makes it look like a leaf. And then you can add a little bit more realism by adding just a little bit of a curl on both sides. Whoa, so now it looks realistic. it looks more real. Yeah. So I'm just making a couple leaves so they're oh. ready as I'm mm -hmm as I'm wrapping and adding my petals. So when you get a little down further, there's a little bit of a longer, a longer point on each leaf and you can add a little bit of glue to that. And then you're just gonna include it as you are uh. wrapping. And so that gets glued in there. And you have to be a little careful with those leaves while the glue is still wet. Mm -hmm. Once it dries, it will be fine. Let's see. And so then every, every blossom that you add, just bend it after it's maybe about two centimeters. And your stem will get longer as you add, mm -hmm. add those um, blossoms. If your paper tears, yeah. it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Add a little bit of glue to the end and finish wrapping it around. And then just start with, just like at the beginning, you just add a little bit of glue again and, and add it back on. You can't see it if it tears. You can't see it at all. <laughs> and you want this paper to be stretched, the part that you're mm -hmm. applying, that you're wrapping, should be stretched. So I will usually do uh, five blossoms on a branch, but sometimes just three or four. Mm -hmm. 
it all looks good. Yeah, if you need more flowers, we have them in there. Sometimes it takes a little bit getting used to the motion and the paper. You could also use, instead oh. of crepe paper, you could also use <laughs> tissue paper mm -hmm. or oh. um, floral tape. Yeah. So floral tape um, is a little bit tacky. Mm -hmm. And that will work also to attach all of these little branches. Good. Yeah, that's probably okay. enough. Yeah, when I, I usually wrap it all the way to the end. Okay, okay. Okay, I see. And you might want to stretch it. Mm -hmm. It will go uh, a little faster if mm -hmm. you stretch it. And here, mm -hmm. you could add glue to the wire and mm -hmm. just roll it down. Ah, I see. Okay, the first uh, I glue. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Just add glue right onto mm -hmm. the wire. I see. Okay. And a lot of this will be will get covered up oh, it's more when we make a, a long ah. branch. Well, I need more branch. You could just keep adding, you could add okay. more if, okay. if you want, or okay. you can stop at three. So how, how long do you need? When you have three or four or five branches, mm -hmm. that's, that's enough, just ah. when it stops. Okay because a lot of times it'll just go <laughs> in a vase. And then I'll show you in just a minute how we're doing, how we're gonna combine all of these together to make a pretty branch. And when you're, when you're ready, mm -hmm. you can add just a little bit oh. of curve you can bend with your fingers or the pliers if it's a little tight space. We're just going to add a little bit of curve to make it more natural. You could add curve to your branch down below too. Oh. That all makes it look like more realistic. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
and do I have to end Yeah, up I this? would go ahead and add glue all the way okay. to the end. And when you get to the bottom, you can mm -hmm. just tear it with I your see. fingers or you can cut it with scissors. Okay. But you all know how easily it tears, so. Okay, <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that looks so, great. Yeah, and at the very can... end, mm -hmm. you can cut it or tear it. Okay. And then add, yep, just a little bit of glue on the very end mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that it will stick okay. and not unravel. Oh, she does for you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Thank you. And bend? Like yeah, just a little bit. Little bit. Bend. All right, do you guys want to make a large branch? So I can make a branch with these. Wow. Do you want to keep your own, you want to keep your own small branch? Mm -hmm. And I'll just make a larger branch with this one. How's that? Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to use one. So just like the, um, adding the smaller stems, the smaller little blossoms, I'm going to do the same thing where I'm just going to add, we're going to treat this the same way mm -hmm. to add that along there. Oop. So a little bit of glue. At this point, I'll probably add it to a larger, thicker wire so it will hold. I see. So let's see. Let's put this. I just want to make sure that that green gets covered up by the brown. Mm -hmm. A little bit messy. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. I can wrap it once, and then I'll probably go back and wrap it again. Looks like I have one more, <laughs> one more oh. branch I can add. Oops. Let's add that down there. Oh. So you can make it as big or as small as you want. <laughs> Let's see, I think I'll go just a little bit longer and then I'll cut it off.
So I could, I could, if I had more branches, I could keep going down. You can see how long that could get. Okay. Just cut that. And again, add a little oh. bending to the branches. And if I felt like that wasn't strong enough, I could add another piece of wire and just cover it again. Mm. But now we've got a larger Ooh. branch. Oh. Yeah. Very so nice. nice. <laughs> hey, was that fun? Yeah. Yeah, very yeah. fun. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> very cute. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe we'll do it again some other time. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.